Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and this is part five and the final one. It cut like unbelievably good. It fits together great. If you do it in the what I did, if you do it step by step, and I know it's a lot to take in, but if you do one video at a time, there are five in the series. The only thing I did a little different was I had a little trouble with the bottom. But so when you get yours and you make it, you just need to, uh, I've got those grouped together. You just need to make sure that it's going to fit together like that even at the bottom and the top. So when you're doing the bottom, it's a little bit different than the top. And I'm sorry I left out that step, but I uh, had already gone too far. But it, and if you remember in the first or the second part, we made these a lot tighter. They are real tight, a uh, little rubber hammer. But the advantage to that, if you're, especially if you're making a cube, it holds it together square you could add a little white glue or yellow, yellow glue, yellow glue to the inside and just smear it in with your finger and then just lightly dab some glue on the top. The top one, we did not do that deal where we made them a little tighter, it, but it's, there's so many joints, it'd be a little difficult and it doesn't need to be tight. This needs to be tight, the four sides to make it equal. You don't even have to use rubber bands. This is so tight on the side, you put it together, tap it with a little rubber hammer or just a, the palm of your hand. And I suggest a little rubber hammer uh, to get all the joints fitted in there and seated perfectly. And then put the bottom on. You could put a little glue on it on the bottom on the inside and then just dabble some on the, uh, matter of fact, you could put a little excess glue and then uh, on the bottom and the sides and then just turn it upside down. The glue would run downhill and then just put a weight on it of anything, any little bit amount of pressure and let, let the glue dry like that. I am going to post this file on Epilogue's Facebook page for people to use freely. It's a two inch by two inch cube. There's a lot of things you could do with this. You could, uh, you know, engrave on it, cut holes in it, you know, make it an ABC block for a child or, or anything. Anyway, I truly hope that helped a little bit, and thank you for watching.